Hello everyone, George Kenner. Today we're going to review the Xtool P2. But before I get started, I want to share a few things with you. About 18 months ago, I got involved in wanting a laser to engrave some cutting boards. And I reached out to Xtool and I purchased one of their Xtool D1s. Now this is actually my second Xtool D1. I'm not unfamiliar with the company. I've done a couple of reviews and showed people the items that I've got. Xtool sent this machine to me for free, not requesting anything specific other than maybe I share um, the results that I found. But I'm not being paid for this video. Now let's get to the good part. I watched a couple of other reviews on YouTube and I saw that some people were complaining that the shipper FedEx was a little bit rough with their machine and some of the laser mirrors got a little bit out of whack. Of course, with a CO2 machine where the laser is going to bounce around on a series of mirrors, that alignment is very important. So what I did was mine was delivered by um, UPS. I literally pulled it out of the box, set it up on this container, and I did a test cut. So instead of checking the alignment first, I wanted to see how it arrived and look at the packaging. Everything that I have ever seen from Xtool had superior grade packing. It was as though um, whoever invented the packaging that comes with an iPhone, <laughs> they are working for Xtool. I, I unboxed it, I was very, very happy with the way that it was packaged, and I went straight to a couple of pieces of wood to cut. This is a piece of wood that I cut out. It's approximately quarter inch. I did a little gear, it worked perfectly. I engraved the word hello on the same piece of word. This is a single pass, set up at the in their system on their Creative Suite program, engraved this, it came out stellar, and then I took an image and engraved the image. These were the first three things that I did, and I thought, okay, let's really put this to the test. My diode laser will not cut clear acrylic. So I thought, I'm gonna get some clear acrylic. And I have a larger CO2 machine. I purchased it even before Xtool had come out with the P2. So I went to some large acrylic that I had actually three eighths or nine and a half millimeters thick and I cut it just like I was on a, a, a lot bigger CO2 machine. It did it perfectly. I took a shape that was associated with the creative suite program that they give you and I just merely put it on um, the piece of material. There are cameras in, in this system that'll aid you align and there's also an automatic height adjustment. I set my height adjustment. I, I didn't have to do anything special with um, adjusting the height which is something that many CO2 machines don't have. You literally have to make sure that your focal length is proper. This was pre-adjusted in the program. So for somebody that's just getting started, this may be a little easier than light burn when you get going. Let me explain. If you're brand new to this, the most popular CO2 laser program to run the laser is called light burn. x is doing everything they can to come up with something comparable to that, if not better. So you, you gotta kinda look at what you know, the company's doing. When I cut this out, there's no flashing. It almost is um, a polished edge. I'm very impressed with what the machine did. Does it pass the cut test? Yes. Now, let's talk about comparing this machine to larger machines. Though the cut may be better, there are differences in the machine. The speed's not going to be quite as fast as a larger CO2 machine. And if you're looking for commercial, purely commercial application, this machine may be just a little bit slow. Time is money in the laser world. But, you know, how much time do you really need? How many products? That's where this comes to pick the right tool for the job. Now, one of the things this machine will do is it has a Z height adjustment. It will engrave on a curved surface. And in my next 
video, I'm going to do some of that, but I wanted to get to the very basics of this machine and share, you know, what I had found. I'm going to take this machine and go over to a friend's house that has all the same interests that I do. It happens to be a woman and she even likes RBG lights. We're going to shut up, set up what I'm calling a she shop. She's going to have a laser, a CNC machine, literally everything that I have. She's even said if I help her do this, that she will allow me to shoot videos from her shop. That'd be really nice. But this one's gonna go over there. There's actually a function on this called batch, and you can take and randomly put a bunch of pieces on that are basically the same thing, like a coaster, set up one of them, and it will read, the computer will read the location of the others and go straight to them. So it's like a variation of what is called an array, but it's something that could be valuable to somebody that um, is not really thinking about production, but would like to save some time. And we're gonna go through height and batch in the next video. Um, what else can I tell you about this? When I set it up, I, it, it runs on Wi-Fi. This has a Wi-Fi adjustment but I had to hook it up USB first. It was a little confusing to try and find out exactly how to do that. The instructions that um, come with all X tools are really very good, but you're gonna have to, if you haven't done this before, you're gonna have to spend some time um, familiarizing yourself with these tools, the instructions, and the industry. Um, what else did X tool send me? They sent me some sample, um, pieces of uh, wood and some cardboard to work with initially. Uh, actually, many of the companies in, don't do that. You, you've got the machine, you need to assemble it, set it up. The only thing I had to do with this machine was put coolant in the back of it. All CO2 machines cool the um, CO2 tube. This one had to have coolant added. There were some screws on the inside and the outside that had to be removed and put in. What else can I tell you about this? It's such a nice machine. If, um, if you got kids around, this one does not require that you have eye protection. And 10 seconds after the cycle is done, there's a lock on the machine and the machine will not open. Um, there is a bunch of accessories. One of the accessories will lift this and give you even more height. So if you want to put something in, it'll run a rotary device. Uh, for what, it, it even has a conveyor belt system if you wanted to do a very large panel or a larger sign. It's, this is really quite a machine for what they've done. And the Z height adjustment issue um, to be able to do like inside a curved bowl. I don't know of any other machine that'll do it. So this could be the right machine for you if that's what you're really looking to do. Um, I, I like this. I like this a lot. The only tool that was necessary. Have to love that. And the RBG light, that was me. There are LED lights inside for when you're setting up your work. But the red light, that was me. You guys have a very good day. If there's anything I can do, please let me know. I put my email address down in the bottom. If you're trying to select the right tool and you want to talk to me about the process that I went through, I'd be happy to get on the phone with you. I want everybody to be able to feel free to contact me, get off the couch, go make something. Kids love this stuff. And the gifts that you can make are phenomenal. Have a great day. Thank you. Oh.